Okay guys, I told you I'm out in kind of country land here. So I'm at Aldi today and I'm going to do some grocery shopping, share my haul with you, and I have a couple of great meals that I'm going to be making. So let's head in for some grocery shopping. Hey guys, it's Llewellyn here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a um, Aldi grocery haul and I'm hoping to do these more often weekly. Um, I've kind of changed my ways of shopping as far as grocery shopping. I used to do super big hauls and get a ton of stuff and I found that that was more wasteful that we were, you know, eating the good stuff and not focusing on eating everything that we should and then we were going back to the store spending more money so it was better for us and it worked better in our budget I was able to save more money on groceries by doing just small hauls and preparing like a meal plan with a couple of meals each week making those meals eating them and I was surprised at how much extra money I would have left in my grocery budget so if you're new to Aldi shopping or if you haven't been in Aldi's, definitely give it a try. It's a little bit different than your typical grocery store. Number one, you have to bring your own grocery bags because you're going to be bagging your own items. So it's always good to um, get a reusable bag. I get mine from Home Goods and they work awesome. And then you're also going to need a quarter to what I call kind of like rent the cart for your grocery shopping. Um, you just insert your quarter you get your cart and when you're done leaving and you have your groceries packed in the cart you can just um put that quarter back put the return the cart and your quarter comes back out so you get it back it's not like you're paying a quarter every time to use it sometimes at my house we get um delivered weekly ads on wednesday for aldi but they always have them at the front of the store so be sure to grab one before you do your shopping so you can see what's on sale especially like meats and vegetables each week they'll kind of have like a highlighted item so if something if chickens on sale you might want to plan some chicken recipes to kind of save a little bit of money okay so here are the grocery carts and to get your cart all you have to do is just insert your quarter it's going to release the cart in front of you and you just simply take it out and go ahead and do your shopping and then be sure to grab your weekly ad here in front of the store Guys, and keep in mind that Aldi's does not accept manufacturer coupons, so it's just strictly the sale prices in the store. These Benton peanut butter cookies are just like Girl Scout cookies. My kids love them, and check out that price, guys. $1.39, great savings. Even if you're on a gluten-free diet, there's a ton of gluten-free, um, and also, if you're eating organically, organic items at Aldi, and they're really reasonably priced. And check out that price on eggs, 48 cents a dozen. Great egg, great deal. And they always have a ton of in-store deals on like seasonal things. So check out your store, especially for summer stuff. They're starting to mark them down for some goodies for the kids. And back to school stuff they'll have up soon. And be on the lookout for price cuts on certain everyday items like this whole grain bread. It's 20 cents cheaper, um, so good deals there. And then there's a bagging station where you can go ahead and bag your groceries. Sometimes there's leftover boxes if you want to go ahead and use them, um, but always bring some bags with you. Okay guys, so here's my haul. It came to about $106 total, and I'll show you guys the receipt, and I'm gonna show you everything. But check by the registers, they had this um, Aldi Insider. So it's for new deals that are starting on <laughs> Sorry, a brief pause there. New deals, I had to check the date. New deals that are starting Wednesday the 26th. So you can get a head start on your shopping. You can see some of the meats that are on sale. Um, good deal on family pack chicken drumsticks. So you can start planning your meals for next week. So let's check out the deals. Oops, and one more thing guys, don't forget to get your quarter for your cart. So I was heading to return my cart and nine times out of 10, someone who's going in shopping will just give me their quarter and I'll give them my cart. So it makes it super easy. Okay, so don't so forget to Here's my cart. receipt from today, everything on there. Again, Aldi's does not take coupons. So um, my total was $106.77. Um, but I do have some meals planned, so let me show you what I have and tell you about some upcoming videos on budget meals that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so here is what $106.77 at Aldi's will get you. Now, I wanted to stay around $100 a week with our grocery haul. Now, if you watch any of my other videos or channels, you know that I try and be as savvy as I can with meal planning and food and deals. So we have a freezer in our basement that we do have extra things we have a lot of. Uh, we have pork chops currently. We have a ton of frozen vegetables. We have 
um, lots of hot dogs. We've had a ton of cheap hot dog deals here, so I stocked up on those. And then we have a little bit of ground beef, so we always have items that will carry over. But let's go ahead and check out. We got a lot of peppers. We're doing a lot of recipes this week with peppers and stay tuned i will tell you the recipes that i'm going to be doing this week and i'm also going to be sharing budget meal videos so that you guys can do these super easy meals at home i'm all about super easy meals um so the french toast sticks these are like two dollars and 29 cents a box and they're very comparable to the farm rich brand which is normally like three something so huge huge savings we have um, sam loves beef taquitos we have a box of granola there Fit and Active Brown Rice. Um, the bread was 89 cents. We do have some strawberries here that were on sale for $1.29. They had some really good baguettes that were just 99 cents, so I picked up one of those. I'm doing a pasta recipe this week. Roma tomatoes were 89 cents a bag, so you can see, really good deal. There's like five tomatoes in there, so we'll use that with our salad. Sam specifically asked for oatmeal pie, so they do carry name brands at Aldi as well. We got a bag of goldfish. The spring mix was on markdown for $1.99, which was a huge, huge deal. And I still have like a lot of time to eat it, the 29th of July. So I don't know why that was so marked down so early, but good deal for me. Um, we are going to try the mac and cheese at Aldi's. If you've tried the mac and cheese, comment below how you like it. Sam really loves Annie's mac and cheese, but I wanted to give this a try at 33 cents per box. I thought it was worth it. Chips and stuff. Anytime you guys are having a party, get your chips at Aldi. Doesn't matter the brand. Who cares? They all taste the same. They are really good, and they really have a wide variety of like organic chips and just different kinds of tortilla chips, things like that. So there's fancy stuff there, too. These, as I said in the store, these peanut butter cookies are just like the peanut butter Girl Scout cookies that you buy for like $4 a box. And they're super, super cheap. So give those a try next time you go to Aldi. You'll love them. If you like peanut butter, um, you will love those. Big bag of onions. We got a big thing of chicken breast. Now, the chicken breast was on sale for, it was actually marked down again to $1.69 a pound. Um, which they took off at the end of my receipt. So that was a little bit of savings. I think I saved like 90 something cents additionally off of the um, price here. Bananas, they always have a lot of clearance items. This mango and bean salsa I'm gonna use with one of our recipes. It's a um, salmon recipe. So we're gonna use that with it as like a little topping. Chicken nuggets, cottage cheese, always dressings at um, Aldi are super cheap. Got a couple of seasonings that were $1.19 each. Um, some Parmesan cheese over there and some minced garlic. I did get a bag of the pink salmon wild caught fillets. Um, these are two pound package, so there's eight of them. So we don't eat fish every week. Um, and if we do, we have like one serving of fish. We're not really big fish people. So um, I do have a recipe this week to share with you guys. There's some mozzarella cheese and some pasta, spinach, all that good stuff. And these rolls are like super soft and super amazing. So let me go ahead over the meal plan really quick with you so you guys have an idea of what we're going to be eating. Okay, so this week I have five prepared planned meals in my head of what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a tomato spinach um, penne pasta and it's just with most of these ingredients here, some onions, some garlic as well, so that should be really good. We are making a crispy garlic chicken. So we have the chicken here. It's pretty much just the um, Italian breadcrumbs. We're gonna use some Parmesan cheese, some garlic powder, olive oil. Um, we're gonna throw in some vegetables like the zucchini, the squash, and the red baking potatoes. I love red potatoes. They have like those Yukon gold potatoes that are really delish too. So we're doing kind of a chili lime salmon meal. Now the kids won't eat this, that's for sure, but it's basically, there's some seasoning to it, some garlic, um, the salmon fillets. We're going to add in some onion. You need, um, I got some limes. So we'll see how that recipe goes. I have not made that. We are not big fish eaters, but we're gonna give that a try. Next meal I'm gonna do are just meatball subs, but these are turkey meatballs, guys. 
and these are the Fit and Active brand, but they also have the um, the regular meatballs if you want to go ahead and do those. And those are roughly like $4 a pack, so it's a pretty good deal. But that's just with the turkey meatballs, the deli rolls. I got just some traditional spaghetti sauce at Aldi. It's always 99 cents. And then the mozzarella cheese, which is down below there. I'm also going to do an Italian sausage um, mix there. Italian sausage was $1.99. Going to throw in a little bit of peppers, maybe some zucchini, leftover squash. Whatever I have left over to use is definitely what we're going to plan. And I think that was only four meals that I had planned this week. I thought I had five. Um, let me check through the salmon, the pasta, or maybe that was five. I'm not really good at counting, but check back on my channel. I'm going to start with my recipes today. Um, so um, I will have videos up for all of these five recipes for this week and check back next week. I'm going to be doing this every week because we're kind of trying to eat healthier, trying to save money in the budget, things like that. Um, and one great tip, guys, when you go shopping, always pay cash never pay with credit always pay cash you kind of see what your money buys you so you're willing to spend a little bit less and you're not when you're paying with cash you're on a budget you don't have extra money to go ahead and throw in extra items that you may not need so you have to stay focused and you have to stay you know stick to the schedule so when i mean cash i don't mean bring your debit card because in a way that's kind of like credit if you've got you know money in your account that's extra money that you can debit so strictly pay your groceries with cash so that is my tip for this week pay your groceries with cash i think i'm going to throw in a tip every week um, so thanks for watching guys check back for those recipes have a great day and shop at aldi's Bye bye